Hey everyone, your friendly neighborhood pants is back with another Summoner's War video. Today we're taking a look at Roid 2A. I have them built just speed, HP, HP on Violent Blade. Blade just for the speed. I did have Destroy, but a lot of the teams I was using them with seemed to not need Destroy. It just didn't seem very necessary. I'm also trying them out on a defense, and I got him basically the tankiest I could on a violent set while maintaining 239 speed and at least a little bit of accuracy. I got a little more accuracy with this garbage artifact. See, it's a old school artifact with a below minimum roll on that skill one, but it is what it is. That's what I have. So he's okay. And I'll show you some teams that I found. They haven't been losing, but I don't know. He just like, he's good. This kid is good, but I, I see him as like a B team unit. Like why bring him when you can bring someone better kind of thing. You'll see what I mean. All right, so I'm going to play both of these at the same time. That's same offense, except two different defenses. But at any rate, this is probably my favorite offense that I found, just because double Vagabond is kind of fun. And also, both seemed very safe as far as I could tell. Uh, Maya Lucia is really fast. She's 286 with Kamun speed lead, because I normally use her with Kamun. But in this case, no Kamun, so she's only in the 239 breakpoint, but decent speed. Uh, she's also max accuracy, which is important. If you're not max accuracy, that's that's not good for Lucia. And I say that because even though her sleep is always going to land, that skill one freeze is incredible. So having that lands 85% of the time is pretty great. I, I say 85% because of the uh, innate 15% chance resistance that people have. But at any rate, these two together is so fun because what can happen is like, Roid will provoke someone, and then Jubel will keep them provoked. So you see against like Harmonia Vigor, uh, Kinky, for example, I provoke the Vigor with Roid, and then Jubel just keeps them provoked, as in continuing to hit Roid. So water hitting wind, and that's that's great. Not to mention no healing to worry about, no defense break to worry about. It's really nice. Uh, meanwhile, Elusia controls the Harmonia, so no one's going to be cleansing the Vigor. And uh, it's just a lot of control. And at that point, it's just 3v1 against the Kinky. So I like that one a lot. Against Chami Vigor Triana, it's a little more annoying, but you just slowly work down the Triana, uh, control the Vigor, and Chami will hurt you, but won't kill you. At least never killed me. And that's a pretty damn strong Chami. I mean, it's really tanky and lots of additional damage. Um, I think this is our best runed Vigor Chami Triana in the, in the guilds. I, I looked at a few. The Triana also was like, 55,000 HP or something with uh, including guild towers and that kind of thing. Seem to handle it, no problem. I really like this offense. It's kind of fun. Feel free to try it out yourself. All right, so here's the next one I'm trying against my Karkano Miles Triana defense. You can see I'm going to be using Jean and Roid and Helena. And typically, I would use Leo in place of Roid because Leo kind of shuts down Miles. That's just it's better. Uh, Helena is also really good into Miles to tank. But at any rate, it's it just seems like a B team unit. I really like his kit. Like just reading his skills, it seems really really nice. Certainly, there are teams where he can come to play, and I guess he's free to play, so everyone has him. So if you don't have Leo or Ritesh or Odin or Cigar or Savannah, you can get a Roid. You know, he's a, a wind damage doer, defense breaker. He's a lot like Sager, the the wind bison dude. Difference being he doesn't have the strip, but he has attack bar reduction, he has provoke, he has break. Um, I'm pretty sure Sager has defense break. I'm not sure. I don't know. I feel like his skill two defense breaks. But they both provoke, they both have attack bar reduction. Sager just has the benefit of a single target strip, and he also has AoE damage compared to Roid's single target. Zing Zay might be a decent uh, comparison too, because of the defense break. And just the fact that they're both wind tanks. He doesn't have the turn cycling or the really nice base speed that Zingze has or the self-protection. I don't know. The kit's certainly good. It's just why why roid over someone else whenever you're you know seeing any kind of siege defense. I don't know what defense I would need to see to be like, okay, yeah, this is where Roid shines, you know? It just doesn't seem to exist. But anyways, tested against this one a few times and easy wins. Killed the Triana first, just like the uh, Karkno Molly Triana. I would say the Karkno Molly Triana is probably the least safe of 
all my trials. All right, so here's the last offense I'm going to showcase. It's a Tian Lang, Molly, Savannah defense, and I'm bringing in Tessarion, Riley, and Royd. Uh, to be fair, I think with this defense in particular, Tessarion, Riley, plus anything, will probably get the win. Tessarion, Riley just kind of shuts down this defense. All three of them have passives. As soon as you kill Savannah, there's pretty much no way they can win. Uh, there's no tack bar manipulation on my side, so I'm not going to be benefiting Tian Lang in that way, which anytime you're hitting Tian Lang, ideally you're not doing that because you know, it's nerfing yourself and buffing them, so don't do that. <laughs> um, as far as Royd on Siege defense goes, I can't see him in a 5-star defense at all, certainly not in the current meta at least, because why would you put him on a defense when you could be putting Odin, or you could be putting Savannah, or you could be putting Cigar, as I explained earlier, Cigar has a strip that Royd doesn't have. I don't know what the multiplier difference is, but Royd's uh, damage does seem kind of low. As far as four-star defenses goes, there's probably something someone can figure out, like Vigor, Molly, Skogel is a defense people have used in the past. If Vigor, Molly, Skogel get, got you wins ever, Vigor, Molly, Royd probably has potential to get you wins as well. I would certainly run destroy sets and some amount of speed on them. Maybe high res too. Or people that try to bomb or dot it yeah i don't know at least in g3 these days it seems like you need some kind of op ld four star to make a defense work in four star and uh i don't have that so it's hard to theory craft and test when i don't even have the units to make it happen another thing is he's wind and triana is usually who you're gonna see on siege defenses and four star or five star i mean triana is one of the best defense monsters in the game and you don't want to pair two win monsters together. So Brianna and Roy together, bad combo. I mean, maybe good for a, an offense. At any rate, uh, let me know in the comments what you think of Roy. If you think he's a B-team monster like I do. Or if you think there's some defense where he's better at defeating the defense than any other monster. Love to hear y'all's input. All right, so here's the first team I went up against. It's a Karkno Molly Triana. Just going to show the runes on the defense right quick. The uh, Karkno isn't quite 239. The Triana is 239, and I'm not sure if that Molly's 286 or not. I don't know Molly's uh, breakpoints off the top of my head, but at any rate, when I see this defense, I don't like think, oh, I should bring Royd into this first thing. I think Tractor Wendy Lulu. I know a lot of people like to Ollie it, but I, I'm always scared of Collie. Some people would dot it. There's definitely a, a bunch of different ways you can beat it, and I don't think Royd is necessarily the safest. This was just a team that I found worked. I, I tried it, I think, three or four times and never failed. Um, this one in particular, you can see I killed the Trion off pretty quickly. Of course, my Karkano hits really hard, nearly one-shots the Triana when he lands the crit with the defense break. Um, I'll go to the next replay here because that one is, uh, I guess, too good of RNG. This one's a little more scary. I'm hitting the Triana despite Karkano having the defense break just because I don't necessarily want to just give the turn to Triana. There's a higher glancing chance with uh, Arkno if he's in his stance, so I'd rather just kill her. Anyways, I didn't quite have enough damage to finish her off there. Now she's got shield and immunity, and Molly keeping her healed, so this one uh, was a little, a little more scary. Like, I guess there, uh, if Karkno went to his stance and violent proct, he could have killed Karkno and then I would have been dead. So that's, uh, I guess that's something that could happen. It never happened in my testing, but that's why I think, why why bring Royd here when I could just bring Wendy? So that's kind of my thought. Again, I love hearing y'all's input, so let me know what you think of Royd, and I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.